Summary of the Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka A traveling salesman named Gregor Samsa wakes up one morning to find that he is turned into a giant cockroach, or some other large insect-like pest. He realizes he missed his train and tries to get used to his strange new body while worrying about his stressed job as a seller. His parents and sister Greta know something is wrong and come to his door, but he can't talk or open the door. His boss, the chief clerk, comes in and yells at him for being late and acting strangely. He even makes it sound like he might lose his job. Gregor finally struggles to open his door, and when he does, he talks to the chief clerk for a long time about how hard he works at his job. But no one knows what he is saying, his family is shocked by how he looks, and the chief clerk leaves. When Gregor tries to get back into his room through the narrow opening, he hurts himself. Gregor finds that Greta has brought him some fresh food, which doesn't sound good to him. Gregor decides to help his family deal with the problems that his transformation is causing. The next morning, Greta brings Gregor spoiled food, which he eats with great hunger. Gregor hears his family talking about money and deciding that they will have to go back to work now that he can't take care of them anymore. Gregor is sad and sorry that he can no longer help them. About a month goes by, and Greta takes less and less care of Gregor. Greta is upset when she sees Gregor come out of hiding one day. After another month, Gregor's mother wants to come help Greta and give Gregor support. Greta and the mother want to get rid of Gregor's old furniture so he can move around more easily, but Gregor wants to keep it because it reminds him of being human. He climbs up the wall and puts himself over his picture of the woman with the muff. When his mother comes back into the room, she is so shocked that she passes out. When Gregor's dad gets home, he finds Gregor in the dining room, freaking out. Gregor's father throws apples at him, and one of them hurts him very badly. While Gregor heals from his accident, another month goes by. His family is tired from working, and Gregor feels like no one cares about him. For extra money, the family takes in three lodgers, which makes Gregor feel even less important. One night, Greta plays her violin for the other guests. Even though the other lodgers seem bored, Gregor is deeply affected. He crawls out of his room to enjoy the beautiful music and is hopeful that he'll be able to help his family and get close to Greta again. When the lodgers see Gregor, they are disgusted and decide to leave without paying for the time they have already spent there. Greta tells her parents that Gregor, the cockroach, has wrecked their lives. She doesn't even think that Gregor is real. Gregor goes back to his room slowly and weakly. He thinks of his family with love, and then he dies. The next morning, the woman who cleans the house finds his body. Greta, her mom, and her dad all decide to take the day off. They take a tram out to the country and talk about their plans for the future and how to find a new place. Greta's parents know that it is time for them to find her a husband. About the author Kafka was born in Prague to a Jewish family from the middle class. He was the first of six children. He liked to speak and write in German, just like his family, even though most people in Prague spoke Czech, which was a big cultural and political difference. He went to grade school, high school, and college all within a few blocks of where he was born. He went to law school and got a job at an insurance company when he was 24. He didn't like having to work, but he had to do it to pay the bills. Kafka's letters and diaries show that he was tormented by a sense of sexual and social failure, even though other people saw him as quiet and smart. He had many intense relationships, but he never got married. During his life, Kafka is thought to have burned at least 90% of what he wrote. However, at age 32, he agreed to let the metamorphosis be published. At the age of 34, he was told he had tuberculosis, which killed him seven years later. When he died, he told his friend Max Brod to destroy the rest of his writings. Brod ignored this request, though, and went ahead and wrote The Trial, The Castle, and America. Even though Kafka only wrote a small number of works, he has become one of the most important writers in the world, and the word Kafkaesque has come to mean the difficulties of modern life. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.